This is calculator question number seven from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us an equation for Shayla's exercise and a paragraph describing this exercise, and they asked for the best interpretation in the number seven here, where they told us Shayla ran for 17 miles, where T is the total amount of time and hours Shayla spent running, and they're asking for the value of seven in this equation that has seven T plus another expression. So we're referring, the seven refers to her running for 17 miles, where T is the amount of time in hours. So choice A, Shayla walks, SV is seven miles per hour, it does not fit that because this is about her running, not her walking. And C, Shayla walks for seven minutes, also does not fit because again, the seven T is she ran for seven times T miles, and that is not about her walking. Now the question is, did she run at a speed of seven miles per hour, or did she run for seven minutes? We're told T is the amount of time in hours Shayla spent running, and it doesn't make sense to multiply her time running in hours by her time running in minutes, so choice D does not sound reasonable. We can conclude it's choice B, but let's look at that. Seven miles per hour is seven miles, and miles per hour is miles over hours. And we're multiplying that seven in miles per hour by t, where t is the number of hours. So seven miles per hour times t hours, and the hours will cancel, leaving seven times t miles. So that speed in miles per hour does make sense for the context of the problem. College Board often requires you to interpret coefficients in the context of a problem. So make sure you're ready for these on your actual SAT and come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.